higher one, it's Kyle with Rangeland RV. Uh, behind me here is the new RPOD 190, and we're going to take some time today to go over the construction and some features that you'll find with the RPOD 190. So starting out with the 190, the total length is going to be 20 feet 4 inches. Dry weight of this one, how it's ordered in, is going to be coming in at just under 2,900 pounds dry. Tank size, you're going to have a 36 gallon freshwater holding capacity, which is a really nice size for a smaller travel trailer. Some nice construction features with the R-Pod is you'll have a full fiberglass sidewalls and floor with a one-piece fiberglass roof going over it. The new R-Pods also come out with an Asdel feature, which is a composite wall board that will replace your Lou on board. And we'll do a full video going into a lot of depth about the advantages of Asdel. Now the R-Pods have a couple different options you can play with, so if you have any questions or you're looking for something particular, you can check our website out, Rangeland RV, but we'll talk about how this one's ordered in. Right away you'll see that it's ordered in with the Hood River Edition. The Hood River Edition in the R-Pod is going to give you a 3 inch riser, so it lifts your um, axles up, and it's going to give you a nice 15 inch mud tire. The R-Pods are sitting on a torsion axle system, which means each wheel moves independently, compared to a leaf spring where it's moving together. That's going to give you a lot smoother tow when you're towing down the road. Everything inside isn't going to be shaking around, so it's going to reduce road shock, which is some nice benefits. They also come with a 10-year warranty on the axle system in the Jordan Flex. Coming up, we'll start at the front of the trailer here. The front, we have this one option with a power tongue jack. Power tongue jack is really convenient. You just come press a button to uh, lower and raise your trailer. Comes, our pod comes standard with a 20 pound propane tank, but if you're looking for some more propane, we can upgrade that system, not a problem. At the front of the R-Pod, you'll see it has your quick connect for your barbecue system. If you have an external barbecue, you can plug it in there, uh, be grilling off your propane tanks, so you don't have to haul any extra ones with you. Your outside storage compartments are all going to have magnet latches, which is a really nice feature, so it's getting away from the plastic uh, clips that come with them. You do get a nice front area underneath. This is the queen bed. It's a large storage area, great for chairs, barbecue, any extra large or big items that you don't want to have inside your trailer. Coming down the front here, you're going to have your black tank flush, which will be standard on all our pods. That's what that means is there's sprayers built into your black tank, and when you hook up your garden hose, it's going to spray out all the inside of your black water holding tank, and it'll leave it a lot cleaner. You won't have the nasty smells or build up over time. Coming back to the back of the coach here, you're going to see that you have the Asdel Composite Board, um, which is a great product that they came standard uh, this year with the R-Pods. Back you're going to have your other pass-through storage, so this is going to be underneath your U-shaped dinette. You have a full pass-through for those larger items, and you have access from the inside too. All R-Pods come standard with solar, uh, solar prep, which allows you to add a portable panel. You can plug it in get 20 feet of cord, go put your panel out in the sun because most of the time you want to be camping in the shade and that will trickle charge your batteries. Coming around to the back side, <clears throat> you have your nice mud tire. Uh, we give you a nice rangeland cover here if you buy from us. Uh, but you can also put a bike rack into this attachment if you want to have that option. You can see the one piece fiberglass roof coming down here. You have LED tail lights and a nice uh, decal on the back here with the hood river. Coming around the back side, your other pass-through storage entrance and you, with the 190 floor plan you are getting um, a small kitchen slide so in a smaller footprint trailer it's nice to expand that space give you more livable area inside all our pods come standard with an outside shower so you have hot cold water on the back side of your trailer so you can wash off your feet the kids the dogs or anything and you're not getting the front of your campsite dirty Coming into the front, this is kind of your service area. So you're going to have your fresh water fill up. You have a um, standard six gallon fast recovery hot water tank on this one. It's dual electric and gas. It's giving you the fastest recovery rate in the market right now. With both settings on, you're looking about 16 gallons per hour. City water connection and you have some low point drains there. Loading lights on the front here and on your tongue jack. So if you're coming at night, you can see what you're doing. Usually they're just giving you the back, the back too, allowing your tongue jack at the front. And 
Dart Pod comes standard with your sewer hose storage, so you don't have to put your uh, sewer hose inside your compartment of your trailer. Outside, you'll see up above, you're gonna have a toolie box awning. It is gonna be a manual awning. It's super easy to use. Just put your pole in there, twist it out, and you have three different settings you can play with the awning. You can have it out like it is now, it comes out farther and just sits, or you can drop the poles down into the ground, or you can drop the poles to the side of the trailer for a nice angle. So there's little options you can play. You have a nice LED light to light up your campsite, and you have outdoor Bluetooth speakers uh, that you have two zones so you can play inside and outside. Uh, switch the music by your campfire with the Bluetooth feature. Coming in, our pod does a two-step. Since it is sitting higher, you have a two-step aluminum, which is really nice in our pod instead of one, so it cushions up there. It comes standard with the friction hinge door. So the door, the door hinge is gonna be a bit sticky almost. So it's not gonna blow loose and slam in the wind, and you don't have to clip it or tie it to the end of the trailer. Oversized grab handles could be standard in the R pods. And we'll come on in, we'll take a look at some inside features. So, right away in the R pod, <clears throat> you'll see your kitchen slide is bumped out in the 190. The 190 has been amazing, really popular this year with a lot of customers. We have great feedback and we've, it's been hard to keep them in stock. What's made the 190 so popular this year is that you're getting into a dry bathroom in the R-Pod, where most of the floor plans in the R-Pods are gonna be a wet bath, and I'll show you that dry bath here in a minute. You also have a full U-shaped dinette in the back of the coach. This U-shaped dinette is great for a couple reasons. One, uh, you can fold it down, it's gonna make for a nice secondary sleeping area, so you can have two adults there, two kids, or the table in here is freestanding, so you can bring it outside to your campground, Open this up to kind of a bench seat area if you're hanging out watching TV on a rainy day. Or you can fit a lot of people in there if you're playing cards hanging out in the trailer too. There's also some separation having the two beds on either end of the small trailer. So when you're sleeping, you're not sleeping right next or on top of each other. Kitchen slide, it's bumped out. Our pod does a great job in their kitchen. They're going to give you a really nice deep countertop. So it's giving you lots of extra space if you want to put a coffee maker, a toaster, you have that room for appliances. And then having the flush uh, stove top cover here allows you to use this prep space put a cutting board down you're able to use that same with the sink cover it's usable space you have a stainless undermounted sink and then a one-piece laminated countertop so there's no team molding edging in the r-pod where water is going to get in and it won't wreck your countertop really like you're still getting two full-size drawer so our pod does full extension drawers so that, wow, you can see it comes up quite a bit as well as the top one there, gonna to come out all the way so you can get to full sections, you're not wasting any storage, you're not hard to get into. And then just over here is kind of your media area area here. So here at Range Land RV, we don't include TVs with our trailers. We find you're gonna get, we wanna provide the most value to our customers. When they're ordered from the manufacturer, we find we can get a lot better deal on a TV up here locally than buying it from the manufacturer. But they all come with the bracket, everything's wired, you're ready to go, just throw a TV in there. Up here you see your media player, so it's a Furion. Um, you can Bluetooth, so you hook your phone up to here. You can also answer calls um, and decline calls if you wish. You have your slide controls, and this is the light for your scare light outside. This is what I was talking about with the two zones of your speakers. So if you're watching a movie inside through your system, uh, you turn your Bluetooth or your speakers off outside so no one's watching the movie with you. USB ports throughout the R-Pod here, so that's a 12 volt system, so if you're dry camping, you can plug in and charge your phone, you can be good to go that way. Coming back into the R-Pod a little bit more, in the kitchen area, you're gonna find a convection microwave oven. So they wanna maximize storage in this trailer, so they're not giving you a full size oven. A lot of people don't tend to use the oven, it heats up the trailer. Going to a convection still gives you the features of convection in a microwave and you're saving on storage. And you can also cook cinnamon buns in here, which are really great. You have a three-way fridge in the R-Pod, which means it's going to run off your propane, your battery power, or if you're plugged into shore power. So you have three different sources you can use on the R-Pod fridge. What I really like about the 190s is you're getting a full wardrobe. <clears throat> Storage is so important in a small trailer, and you're getting that full closet, and then you're getting three drawers, full extension again, below for all your added items that you need. Now I'll show you the new feature here is going to be the dry bathroom here. So dry bath. 
So a dry bathroom is gonna, the shower is gonna be separate from your toilet area. Now I'm a taller guy at 6'5", and I can still stand in the shower with the skylight and have room to shower, which is really nice in a small trailer. You're also, if you wanna come in and use your counter space, brush your teeth, you're not standing inside the wet bathroom. You have a nice sink, medicine cabinet, some extra storage, so you can get ready for night or get ready for the day. Our pod comes standard. Um, in the, well, we ordered this one with the Hood River, which comes with the Max Air fan. The Max Air fan, this fan is absolutely amazing. <clears throat> it runs off battery power, so you don't need to be plugged in if you're getting out boondocking or dry camping. On the highest setting, it's gonna move 900 cubic feet of air throughout the trailer per minute. So what you do on a really hot day is just leave that fan running. It's gonna suck out all the hot air. At nighttime, you can leave it running too, just allow it for circulation. Or if you want to option in an AC, you can put an AC unit on the, all the R pods. They're all prepped, ready to go for air conditioning. I'll step out of here. In the back area, you're gonna find your queen bed. Uh, what's really nice about the queen bed back in this area, one, it's your bedroom, it's a little bit private, so you're getting that space away from your front door. You also have two full-size windows that can open for a nice cross breeze throughout the trailer. Uh, it's going to be an RV queen, so it's 60 by 74. And that's, the, that's most of the features in the 190. If you have any questions or want to see this trailer in person, we do have ones ordered with some different options, so just make sure what's important for you, we can make that happen. Visit us at rangelandrv.com. Once again, my name is Kyle. Thanks for tuning in, and subscribe and like for more videos.